Hey, guitar buddies, that was the fairground attraction classic, perfect. So we start on a G. Ba, ba, ba. I'm just playing kind of root and fifth, you know, just, um, you can just strum it however you want. Then to a D. Back to G. Back to D. Back to G. Now B minor. G. A. D. G, A, D, D7. Okay, so just go through those chords again. G. Half hearted lover. D. I need some G. Who really D? Laugh at the show. G. Play silly B minor. Games. I promise by G. A. I won't do that. D. G, A, D, D7 to take us into the chorus. G, A, D, G, D, D7. So, and that kind of up stroke. D, G, D, D7. And repeat, G. A, D, G, D, D7, G, F sharp 7, B minor, A, G, just put a little, little there, uh, just root note there, on 3, and then stay on G, B, a back to G perfect. So it's got to G A G just a little bass run F sharp open E. So, so G to open on the E string D and then I, we've got repeat and I went straight into the guitar solo. So the guitar solo, just a slightly different chord of one part. So a da ba ba G, da do, da ba D, da do, G, ba dum ba dum, da do, ba dum ba dum, da do, D, ba da ba 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 da, back to G, ba dum da do, B minor, ba da ba da, da do, G, do do. C, do, 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 D, do, do, I don't know. Then back into another verse. So we've just got that C chord, which wasn't in the verse or chorus during the guitar solo. So uh, nice, uh, simple chords there. And let's take a look next at the solo. I've always loved this rockabilly style solo. So I'm starting around the seventh position here. So I'm playing an E and an A, 9 and 10 on the G and B strings. And I do a little bend on the E. So then go to D on 7 on the G string. And I'm playing this by kind of picking and using my second finger. So it's that country western style hybrid picking where I'm using both a pick and my finger to pick you could do it just finger style. But I like the kind of sound, you get a kind of snappier sound with the pick. So that's the first one, I'm bending, then seven, then bend again, release. So I'm now on nine and 10. Then seven, nine, D and B. Seven on the G string, D, nine on the D string. So D, B. And then same the second time, but just the last note is different. We now go to A, seven on the D string. 
So just that one note that's different at the end. Then I... Then I'm sliding, just kind of randomly, up the neck to G on 7. Yeah. Uh, so, so G on 10, sorry. And I'm playing 8, 10 on the B and G strings. So that's G and F. So I'll slide up to G, G, F, G, F. Yeah. So slides that really make it. And then I'm sliding to F sharp on 11 on the G string, and then playing D on 10 on the E string. Then going to 14, 14, A and F sharp. 12 and 12, G and E. F sharp and D, 11 and 10. Then just move that chromatically down. A little bit of treble up out at the end. So nine and eight. Sorry, ten and nine to nine and eight. So and then we go up to the twelfth position. So I'm playing fourteen and fifteen together with a slight bend on fourteen and release. Then twelve. So this is on the G string, 12 on the G string, and then back to 14 and 12 again. Twice, and then back to the kind of opening position. So I'm doing playing that bend again on 9, also playing 10, 7, and then 9, 7, and then bending up whilst picking 10, so bending 9 and picking 10. Then I go and slide down the bottom string and I'm playing a G on 3. So then A on 5, C on 3 on the A string, then G and F on one, so three, one. Then I play an open D string, and then I just go up to the top of the neck, and play F, top of a D chord, F sharp, A, D. Just dip it with the bar, and back up again and that's the solo great tune thanks for watching and enjoy a bit perfect thanks buddies